Scenario, I'm shooting underwater, camera is in an underwater housing, and now we need to get settings. We need to change settings, we need to change frame rates, we need to change the shutter. What do you do? Pull the camera out of the water and pull it out of the housing and change all your settings. Now you've killed 30 minutes, now you gotta make sure your underwater housing is gonna work still and not have any water in it. Can't do that. Saved my life. So if you go into your functions and you look, this thing actually controls the brain on the camera, which is awesome. Can't ask for anything more, right? All I have to do is hit this camera button. You see this camera button? It gives me all the information from the camera. The camera and the handset are actually best friends now. They've made this relationship, they hang out, they do things together, it's awesome. All I have to do is now go in and hit setup. And if you look at this setup, I get all my settings. I get frame rate, I get shutter angle, exposure index, white balance, and NDs. So as I was doing this water shot, as I was telling you about, the DP looked over at me and was like, hey, go 48 frames. All I have to do is hit my camera button, hit setup, go to my frame rate and hit select, and then just go to whatever frame rate I want. 48 frames. And I'm not sure you didn't see it, but let's go ahead and set that up one more time. So these two are talking to each other. What frame rate are we gonna go for? 23, set it, happens instantly. So underwater or wherever, in any scenario where you can't get to your camera, settings like this are gonna save you. Whether you're doing car jobs, need for speed, and hey, cars are going 80,000 miles per hour down the street. Let's go in slow motion now. Jump on there, hit it. What are we gonna do? We're gonna do 60 frames per second. I hit set, bang, camera's ready to go. Makes life so much easier. But the thing you have to realize, I've changed my frame rate. Now what do I need to do? Oh, gotta get back out. And now I need to change my shutter. Change my shutter. Shane loves a nice 90 degree shutter. Let's, so let's make it sharp and crazy in there. And you see it's all happening in the camera as it happens. All my controls are now in my camera, whatever I need to do. If I need to add some NDs, my NDs go in. ND6, where do my NDs pop up? Pop up right here. N6, in camera, engaged, ready to go. This is outstanding information to have. Have in your fingertips. Oh my gosh, is that where that saying came from? I have the tools in my fingertips? I, I don't know, we'll get into that later. But guys, this is one of the reasons I carry this tool. It gives me and my camera a happy place to where I know I can control the camera. I'm not running over to the camera every 20 minutes to change settings. By the time Shane starts talking on his comms and said, change it to 56 Calvin, it's already done. I'm not looking for the DIT. I'm not looking for anybody else to try to figure it out. I have the brains of the camera in my hand and I'm set to go anywhere. I can tell you scenarios for, I was on top of a mountain and the camera was 80 feet in the air. What am I gonna get, a six step ladder? No, it's not gonna happen. And in today's world, we don't have time to bring the camera down, put in all these settings, and then raise the camera back up. Time is precious. And like I said, if you never hear camera department over walkie or in anybody out of anyone's mouth, you've done a great job. So maybe you have to try this out in the future. Control your camera.